My name is John Donahue, and today we're going to talk about the Goodyear Blimp. The Goodyear Blimp is something that everybody's a little bit interested in. It's probably the most well-known and iconic airship in the history of the Earth. The Goodyear Blimp is any of three blimps that Goodyear operates, um, and they use them for advertising, and they also use them to catch live aerial footage of sporting events. It'd be hard to imagine a football game or some sporting event that didn't have the Goodyear blimp attending it. I wanted to give you a little background on what a blimp is. A blimp is a non-rigid airship and the gas inside the blimp is what keep, gives it its shape, much like a balloon. So a blimp is, a, is like a big balloon as opposed to in other airships that you might see, which are bigger, Zeppelins or dirigibles, and those have an internal frame. So now we just know what a blimp is. Paul Litchfield loved blimps and airships, and he named all the early blimps after America's Cup defenders. Um, he looked at blimps as yachts of the sky, and he looked at blimps as something that would carry people around the country just as yachts carry us around the ocean and lakes. So how did Goodyear get into the blimp business? Well, back in 1910, Goodyear Tire and Rubber started an aeronautical department to market rubber-infused fabrics and coatings for airplanes and lighter-than-aircraft. Goodyear's involvement in free ballooning dating back to 1912 was used effectively to improve rubberized fabric, advance airship technology, and train personnel in flight operations. Balloon racing in this country and abroad laid the foundation for Goodyear's long career in lighter than air. Goodyear expanded its aeronautical department and then formed the Goodyear Zeppelin Corporation to build giant rigid airships for the United States Navy. The airships USS Akron and USS Macon were built between 1929 and 1933. These are incredible aircraft and they were 785 feet long and some of the largest airships ever built. The other interesting thing is that they were built as aircraft carrier and they could carry four Sparrowhawk fighters that could both land and take off while the Akron and Macon were in flight. Unfortunately, the Akron crashed off the coast of New Jersey in 1933 and 73 out of 75 people on board lost their lives in the worst air disaster in airship history. One. Goodyear Tire and Rubber made many blimps right here at our facility that's just down by the Goodyear Airport. During World War II, the men were at war and uh, they hired many women to do the very difficult work of making blimps. Here you can see the women working, very hard work. It's on concrete floors with caustic glue and very difficult sewing. Those women made the blimps and they were very proud of the blimps. Goodyear made over 154 blimps for the U.S. Navy in World War II. And one thing that's fascinating is those blimps guarded our east coast against a German presence and they guarded our west coast against a Japanese presence. And more importantly, we had thousands of shipments between the United States and Europe with troops and ammunitions and we never lost one ship that was guarded by a blimp. The ladies who made the blimps for the U.S. Navy at Goodyear also were very proud because that technology was very similar and they made balloons for the Macy's Day Parade. Here you can see Popeye during a Macy's Day Parade on Thanksgiving Day. It's fascinating that Goodyear Tire and Rubber has been in the lighter than air business for over 100 years. We are very excited to be part of this history and to help record this history as we watch as the Goodyear Blimp has developed from the earlier models to what the Goodyear Blimp is today. The Goodyear Blimp of today is actually not even a blimp has an internal rigid structure, which is called a semi-rigid airship, but Goodyear chooses to call it a Goodyear blimp because it's just been the name everyone knows. It's been very exciting to be part of this history and we're very proud that we're connected with Goodyear and, and the blimp and the history and the wonderful history that it brings to the world.